to Cam Newton in a second, but first, oh, Nuggets Clippers. Oh, no. This series is headed oh, to a game oh, seven. No. What, Jenna? A game seven? Yeah, Jenna, a game seven. Denver rallied from down 19 points with just 22 minutes left to win game six yesterday. Denver now with the chance to become the NBA's only team yes, to ever come back from go. two, two yes. three-one deficits in the same uh, postseason. Nick, I know you're probably the only one who had the Nuggets in this series, but were you even no. surprised by the Nuggets comeback in game six? No, no, you're right, Brandon. Brandon, you were right there. Me but and Nick, Brandon. I, see, here's the with thing, this. Jenna. Jenna, here's why you can't be surprised. Brandon, the Denver Nuggets are down 15 points in an elimination game against an alleged championship contender. And they come all the all the way back. Here's the problem with what I just said. You don't know which game from this weekend I'm describing. Because they did it Friday, yeah. and then they doubled down and did it Sunday. Sunday, they were down 18 with 20 minutes left in this game, and then went on a, let me check real quick, oh, a 56-25 to 25 run on these fraudulent clippers. Uh. And J Brandon, Jenna mentioned the Nuggets could become the second team to come back from 3-1 down in the same postseason. Doc, better be careful. There's only been 12 3-1 leads blown. He's blown two of them with T-Mac in Orlando and with CP3 and Blake with the Clippers. He's about to have the hat trick of 3-1 blown leads. And the Clippers, great. I don't know, Brandon, how folks can still believe in them after watching them this postseason. Nick, wow, is going to happen. I said it at the beginning of this series that Denver looked like the better team. I thought they were the better team. Mm -hmm. But Murray didn't have his legs. He was inconsistent. And it was really due to playing against Paul George and Kawhi on the perimeter on the defensive side. They were just, they're just phenomenal. We know that, okay? But, man, if they make it out of game seven, your Lakers are in trouble. I really like this, thing, this oh, team. Stop. When you look at stop. what... Yeah, when you look at what Jokic far. was able to do, did, was that Dirk? These one-legged shots? He's unguardable now. If he, if he can do that consistently, this guy is unguardable. He can pass better than Dirk. You can even say his He's three ball is possibly better than Dirk. But wow, okay, I don't he know, man. too far. He, he's been great. Uh, he's been well, great. Well, we will he's discuss. We got, we got to get back to this, to Fox Dick World. Tracy with him in the house. house. Cam Newton downplaying his debut yesterday, trying to sneak in, you know, without being seen. Maybe if I wear this, no one will see me. The very Damn. subtle quarterback was seen quite well, though, when he took the field, throwing for 155 yards, but running 15 times for 75 yards and two scores. Take that, Tom Brady. The Patriots using the ground game for a change to get the week one win over the Dolphins. A new era officially underway in New England. Here is Cam Newton after the Patriots win. I'm just so blessed to have this opportunity, man, to, number one, be affiliated with an organization. You know, knowing that in itself is a blessing uh, to get a win, and that's another added plus. But... You know, yet through it all, this has been a a strenuous, long process for me. And yet through it all, you know, it's just been gratifying. And I just had such a sense of gratitude, you know, to the New England Patriots and, and to this team just to give all that I could possibly give. And, and, and hell of high water finished today at this particular time with us, you know, having going home with the win. Probably a custom-made mm. suit, but I don't, I don't know these kind of things. Hey, with that, we welcome in our quarterback, Michael Vick. All right, Mike, what would you make of Cam Newton's debut yesterday? I thought it was a great performance. Uh, I give him an A grade. Uh, the attack was balanced. Um, Cam did well in the passing game. He did well in the run game, which we knew. Um, but what was more impressive was that he was, he was 15 for 19. Um, and... You know, we all wonder, you know, what he would look like uh, throwing the football for the New England Patriots. And uh, I, he was very efficient. You know, um, he threw the ball well. Um, I think in terms of, you know, what this offense is going to continue to bring, they'll continue to build on this performance. And, 
The one thing I think they really went back and did was watch Cam and Auburn because yesterday looked like Cam and Auburn. Hmm. Um, so it was a yeah. play action. Um, you know, it was sweeps. You know, it was zone read. It, it was, you know, what Cam is, is used to. And, you know, if they can keep this up, you know, even though it was the Miami Dolphins, I take no credit away from them. But it was a good week one start. But I, I can't wait to see what happened uh, next week as, as they get into – the thick of their schedule going up to Seattle and, uh, you know, pulling out the same game plan, if not add more, to see, you know, if Cam can be just as productive or even better. So I think all in all, I give him an A grade. He looked comfortable. You know, he looked like he was excited. You heard him in the, in the post-grain press conference. You know, he expressed his gratitude, and I think that's everything. If you can be happy playing the game of football, if you can be happy at the quarterback position, then you can keep building on, on what you built. Well, Mike, I think those are great points. And I want to give a shout out to Josh McDaniels because he, he as yes. you know, he had his struggles as a head coach. But this is a team who was the only team in the entire league last year, I believe, to run zero zone read plays. And they ran 10 of them <laughs> in the Cam's first game because he is doing yep. what his talent mm -hmm. demands. And I don't mean Cam is demanding to do it. I mean, what, given who your team is, what their skill sets are, let's build a game plan around it. And I want to give a second shout out to our beloved Kevin Wilds, who I will admit, I've never seen a power play like the one Wilds pulled this morning, which was Wilds said, <laughs> we have to lead with Cam. We have to lead with Cam. We're like, no, we got to do the Bucks Saints, and then we got to do Cowboys. And then Wild said, okay, well, I'm not showing up till we're talking Cam. And now we're talking Cam, so I welcome in Kevin Wilds. Good to see you, my friend. Right, this, I, have to, I have to admit one other thing, Kevin. Uh, this was such a full tour de force Cam performance, from walking in looking like Dick Tracy to walking out yep. with the victory and the two touchdown runs. For the first time in my life, well, you know what, for this first time since the Randy Moss year, because I was pretty enthralled okay. by Randy that year, I found myself not only not rooting against your Patriots, I didn't have a bet on them. Our Patriots. And I was, I found myself <laughs> pulling for them. I was like, come on, Cam. And it wow. felt, I felt a little gross, like I needed a shower. But it was so oh, exciting to see Cam doing Cam so things, Wilds that I was rooting for your squad yesterday. No, it's our it's our squad, <laughs> Nick. And you know what? The more things change, the more they stay. Th